I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we are trying to understand quality equation in standard form. The equation here is determine the vertex of the parabola y equals to 2x square minus 10x plus 11. Now to find the vertex from standard form we can adopt two methods. One we say partial factor. And the second one is completing square. Both the methods are equally good to solve for such questions. So let me show you how to use these methods. Let me begin with partial factoring. The equation given to us is 2x square minus 10x plus 11. That is y equals to this value. So here we can factor out these. 2x is common, so I can write this as 2x, and I have x dividing 10 by 2 is 5 plus 11. Now you will notice that if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 11. That means the point 0, 11 lies on the parabola, and if x equals to, because 0 times anything is 0, so we are left with 11. If x equals to 5, in that case also, x minus 5 will be 0, so y will again be equals to 11. So here also 11 is the value for y. So 5 and 11 is also on the parabola. Now since the y coordinates are same, that means this line is a horizontal line, right? So this is a horizontal line where we have y intercept and this is another point on the parabola. The axis will be right in the center of this. So we can always find the axis. So we say axis is equals to center of the two x values, which are 0 and 5. That means these two values, 0 and 5. So axis is average value of these two. So we can add 0 and 5 divided by 2. So we get a value as 2.5, right? 2.5, or you could write 5 over. So with that, we get the axis. Now vertex will always lie on the axis. So to find the value of the vertex, and of course this parabola opens upwards, since this value is positive. So let's try to find the, the minimum value in this case, right? So we'll substitute x as equals to 2.5 in the equation and find the value of y. So it is 2 times 2.5 whole square minus 10 times 2.5 plus 11, right? So let's use the calculator and calculate the value. So we have 2 times 2.5 square minus 10 times 2.5 plus 11 equals to minus 3 over 2. Or decimals 1.5 minus 1.5. Right? So we get the minimum value and now we can write down the vertex. So we say since y is minus 1.5, we can say vertex is at x equals to 2.5, the value of y is minus 1.5. Correct? So this is one way of finding vertex. Now we'll adopt the second method which is completing the squares and see what we get for a vertex. y equals to 2x square minus 10x plus 11 is given to us. So here we'll factor the leading coefficient 2. That is a process, right? We get x square minus 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 of x plus 11. Keep it on the side. The next step is to write half of 5 square it, which is 2.5, is half of 5, 2.5, square it, right? So add and subtract this term, right? Add and subtract this term. When you add and subtract the same term, it's kind of zero, right? Adding zero means you're not changing the equation. But by doing so, you make these three terms a perfect square. And so we could write this as 2 times x minus that minus comes from here 2.5 from there right whole square 
minus. Now let us find square of 2.5. Okay, so 2.5 square is equals to within decimals 6.25, 6.25 plus 11. Now we can actually open the bracket and solve. So we have 2 times x minus 2.5 whole square minus. Well, multiply 6.25 by 2, right, times 2 equals to, in decimals, 12.5 plus 11. We can combine these terms. So we get 2 times x minus 2.5 whole square plus 11, right? I mean, this is minus. So when you do that, so you get minus 1.5. Correct? So from here, we have equation in vertex form. You can easily write down the vertex. Vertex is 2.5 is the x value. Y value is minus 1.5. You get exactly the same answer. So you could follow either of these two methods to find the vertex when the equation is given to you in standard form. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.